Unsurprisingly, toads from this genus can be found all throughout North America. Some, like the Houston toad, have an extremely limited range and are considered endangered. Others, like the Great Plains toad, have a broad range that extends from Canada to Mexico and are listed as least concern. North American toads are ground-dwelling animals. Some, like the Yosemite toad, live in mountainous areas, usually on the edges of pine forests. Others, like Fowler's toads, prefer sandy areas they can utilize for burrowing. All North American toad species, however, must live near water, and this has to do with how they grow up. Before they become the toad shape we're all familiar with, North American toads must first undergo metamorphosis from their larval forms, which are commonly known as tadpoles. These toads can live for more than a decade, however, most species of North American toads won't start breeding until they're at least three years old, though Houston toads start at about one year of age. Breeding seasons typically fall within the spring and summer months in North America, and males will show up to the breeding sites before females so they can secure the best spots from which to sing. All species of North American toads have their own distinct voice, but most can be referred to as a loud, shrill call that sounds something like this. Sometimes these calls will attract roving males, and males will accidentally mount each other. When this happens, the mounted male will let out a chirping call that sounds like this. This noise will let the other male know he's made the wrong selection. When a male finally does find a receptive female, he'll hold on tight and she'll make her way to the water. North American toads generally lay their eggs in temporary pools, preferring areas without large fish who could prey on their young. Though, ponds and lakes work too. The eggs are laid by the female in long strands that can number in the thousands. While she's laying eggs, the male gets to work fertilizing them. Once they're finished, the parents leave behind their babies forever. North American toad tadpoles hatch within two weeks and metamorphose into adults within two months. At full size, the average North American toad is three inches long. However, this genus contains the smallest living toads in North America, the oak toads, who average barely more than an inch in length. As they grow, North American toads shed their skin and, not wanting to let that perfectly good skin go to waste, they eat it. This is actually pretty common among reptiles and amphibians. As adults, North American toads tend to be nocturnal, though some species, like the Yosemite toad, are more active during the day. Either way, when they aren't active, North American toads will burrow underground or find a nice rock under which they can hide. When they are active, North American toads may be on the lookout for food. North American toad tadpoles eat mostly plant material such as algae and pollen, but adults may take just about anything they can find, including earthworms, snails, slugs, ants, beetles, spiders, moths, flies, and the list goes on. Many species will seek out their prey and shoot out their tongue kind of like a chameleon to catch it. While active, North American toads have to watch out for predators like snakes, ravens, gulls, and frogs. They do come with some defense. North American toads secrete a toxin from their warts that tastes awful and can upset an unsuspecting animal's stomach or cause a burning sensation in the eyes. This is really why North American toads, and most toads in general, should be handled with caution and not because they might give you warts, which is totally a myth. For more facts on North American toads, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.